jacket I ever found in a thrift store in beautiful Anamosa, Iowa, which many of you will know Anamosa because it has a prison. So, <laughs> they, yeah, exactly. So thanks to Anamosa, this is, this is my go-to jacket. That's, that being said, our go-to band, please say hello to, oh man, they tore it up. These are the Silver Hornets. <laughs> He's wearing a necktie, so he must be the, the, the person in charge. Would you please say hello to Nick Magnus? It's not his vintage, vintage, it's your jacket. Well, hey. This is $3 at Mariano's, you just tell me where you're working. <laughs> I said, I'll have two, I'll take two. There you go. Hey, you, you, you go and dress like that, you know, you do a two hour shift, you take your money, you go home. In 30 years, when they go out of business, this will be vintage. <laughs> so, introduce the, the young men behind us, if you could. Okay, we got Carl Perkins here. Yeah. Uh, Brendan. He looks just like him. Yes, he does. This is uh, Victor. Most of you may know him from Them Guilty Aces. Yeah. Yeah. He's that guilty silver hornet tonight, though. Yeah. And uh, the star of the show, Mr. Sequence. <laughs> Eddie Barbita. said many years ago, the girls can't see you if you don't dress loud. Right here! Yeah. And of course, little Gina Marie. Gina Marie! I'm going to get to you in just a moment. You are extremely special. This young man is pretty special too. When did you first pick up the guitar? Um, it must have been a year or two old. It was my father's action. Really? Yeah, it just looked cool. I think that's how most guitarists get started. It just looks cool. It makes noise. Really? But uh, for serious, probably like third or fourth grade. No kidding. Like nearly 20 years ago. What, uh, I, I ask this of every, every musician and every person that, that comes on the Chicago Vintage Show. What drew you to this music over, you know, Led Zeppelin records or movie blues or whatever? I could understand what they were saying for one. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. It's it's an intangible thing, I think. Just like anything, you just like it. No other reason than it. that that sounds cool, that moves. As Carl moves sorry, as Elvis Presley said, rock and roll music, if you like it and you feel it, you can't help but move. That's the that's the right reason. There you go. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Absolutely. Um, how, uh, uh, the Silver Hornets, have they been together for a long period of time? Off and on? Depends on which, which lineup you mean. It's a little bit different every three weeks, I think. <laughs> this week, it was one week. Um, I've been playing since I was like 16. Um, the Silver Hornets, the concept, probably since December. Actually, we played here December 21st. That was like the introduction uh, gig for that band, before it was the 909s, which you actually introduced us a few times on the Big C Jamboree. Big C Jamboree, long band of yeah. 25 years of good, clean fun. Yes, sir. Well, it's a pleasure having you here. Now, I want to I want to turn my laser focus over here. Please say hello to Gina Marie, everybody. First of all, you have a bit of an ace in the hole when it comes to playing music, and of course, I'm referring about to uh, your day job. Oh yes, yes, I'm a full-time middle school band director. You're like, the, you're like the female Professor Harold Hill from the music. <laughs> oh, I better hear some by God toot now I am horns. <laughs> Singing 76 trombones every recruitment season. Yeah. There you go. Now you 